Hey, what's going on guys? Comic again here. I've been experimenting with the process of graphics drawing automation. previous videos uh, in the previous videos I've been demonstrating the matrix printer like traversal like just from top to bottom or potentially like just randomized uh, linear sort of a fulfilling of the pixels let's say but that that's cool but it's not it, it doesn't look that natural really so I wanted to make this the process of automated drawing to look uh, a bit more natural okay so i was thinking about uh how to make it similar to the doodly service so for those of you who's not aware uh, what the doodly is so doodly is the service of like it's a paid service to draw cartoon uh, cartoon characters uh to just for uh, making youtube videos basically so you just like the, the, there is a hand with a pencil and it just kind of like drawing uh some cartoon character on the screen uh, like black lines on white screen and there might be some plot and things like that so you can uh, uh, manipulate the animation and all the stuff so I was I was thinking about some sort of a poor man's uh, doodly alternative and currently it's really awful but still I want to demonstrate what I came up with so far so uh, First, let's go for a demonstration and then I'll explain how exactly I managed to do this. So, we need to open a graphic editor. So, I'm on Linux, I'm using the Painter, Painter uh, graphic editor. You can use whatever you like, doesn't matter really. So, what else? Uh, so let's go for always on top. And just hold on a sec yeah so it now should start drawing hopefully okay so what I've changed is it now draws uh, not line by line but uh, it draws separate elements of of an image in separate so it just splits and like this elements to draw so currently it's it's drawing a woman's face it's a clip art just a random clip art from internet I've downloaded so now he draws this kind of like here okay then we'll go for an eyebrow for an eye we'll probably first just goes for the other side I believe It's still slow as hell and laggy and there are really lots of things to improve but I just want to emphasize the gist of what it's doing so it's kind of like drawing this sort of an image so uh, as I've been describing in the previous videos for those of you who's not aware what is this all about so I'm using the Pyoto GUI library to automate the uh, movements of my mouse cursor and also I mask uh, the pixels I map the pixels from the actual drawing and then where needed I just uh, instantiate a mouse click event let's say and eventually it looks like as if it's it's actually drawing so this is a real text editor I just sorry I just can't take my to touch my mouse because it's it's drawing currently but the idea is is just uh, a bare uh, uh, sorry uh, a bare graphics editor and the mouse movements are automated to draw exactly uh, kind of like images uh, to, to draw the pixels all pixels at exactly the the, the car at the car uh, the coordinates uh, where they should occur okay and okay yeah almost done almost done okay so we're done so here is the image 
However, so what's the difference? Now, now let's go. Now let's go for a bit more explanations. So just we need to open the folder. Okay. So here. So this is the initial image. But if I just source this image as as an input, it would be like drawing like a printer, as I've been demonstrating before. So the trick I came up with was to split the image into the separate elements. Okay, so we have every every, every element in separate, and then the entire image. So the entire image is just the source. It's, it's not it's not used in the code. So I first draw this one, then this one, then this one, then this 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 and this, and that's how we're done. So the more elements you split the image into, the more naturally it would look like how, how it's done. Also, by traversing images in different order, we, we may mimic uh, the real world, world draw, drawing, basically. So that's kind of how it works. And if we have a look at the source code, so now we're doing uh, exactly the same stuff we've been doing before. I just got rid of the random randomizations uh, in terms of traversal so it still goes like in the printer mode but for a very small elements like and in that case it just doesn't go this linear disaster so it's just going for one little element then another little element okay so also we do lo we loop over uh, I call it frames so literally literally we loop over the images within this sort of a folder and then for every image we do extract the coordinates for pixels to draw and then as as we've been doing before so just using this starting threshold to uh, add the coordinates to right over in here and there we mimic a click event a click event that results in drawing some pixels literally, literally drawing on the screen so that's kind of the idea i have no idea uh, if i can improve it somehow what I've realized so far is that the more the more pixels, uh, I'm sorry, the more elements we have, the more natural it looks like in terms of drawing. Uh, but the problem is the current, the biggest issue now is that the way I was doing this, I was manually uh, like selecting the element, copy paste, create new layer, selecting another element, copy paste, create new layer, and so on and so on. And, and this is this is a really long process. So the problem here is that if I could automate the process of splitting the image into these kind of layers, and I, probably that splitting into layers is not even the biggest issue, but how to distinguish which element to consider, because it's okay, let's say, if we can use this like a uh, magic stick for selections. Uh, in that case, it's okay. But in case, if, if let's say we have some more complicated, like say, 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 say this part, the central part of the dog, we want to extract this separately, then how on earth are we going to be doing this? So it's really unclear. So I would say, even though service like Doodly looks very simple, it's not that simple. I believe that's quite a pretty complicated program to say at least. So yeah. If I if I come up with some sort of some sort of an interest in solutions in regards to how to automate this process a bit better, I would definitely share it with you guys. So this is it from my side. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, and take care.